All right, welcome back. We're going to take a little trip down memory lane. One of the very first taste of the towns that I did mm -hmm. was up at Cedar Springs Brewing, right, with Dave Ringler? No way. The very first one you did was at a brew pub? I know. Imagine <laughs> that. So, of course, since we did that one, so much has happened for them, including a couple of major awards. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, we need to find out what is happening with a second location, oh my goodness. not in Cedar Springs, that's going to be taking place for all of us here in Grand Rapids. So we got to turn over to the man that has all the answers this morning. Good morning to you, Dave. Good morning. How are you guys? We're fantastic. We'd be was, better uh, if we were sitting here with a big pretzel and a beer, but whatever. <laughs> hey, you're winning gold. Well, I was just enjoying that wonderful piece on, with Johnny and Becky. That was great. Oh, that, yeah, John wasn't that so good? good. Such yeah. good people. I love watching him and his dad in those races, uh, the Riverbank. Hey, gold. You got Olympic medals happening over at your place, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> we should play the national anthem. Tell us about the uh, Bavarian wheat ales. Well, you know. <laughs> I, I worked. I started working uh, when I got into the brewing world in 1994 in Germany. I was uh, started working at a small little vice beer place making Bavarian style wheat beers, and just really fell in love with the style and the culture. And you know, really, the entire point of what we were doing here is to share some of that culture that I fell in love with with uh, with my home here in West Michigan. And uh, you know, we're just absolutely tickled that um, you know people have responded to that. We're this uh, our classic wheat beer is based on a 600-year-old recipe, and um, you know we've just we've done really well on some of these competitions. And uh, this one here at the um, uh, the Great American Beer Festival is the largest commercial competition in the world. Um, there were seven winners in Michigan, um, and we were one of them. And with this classic beer style, and we're the only ones uh, to ever win medal in that category in the history of the competition. We've done so twice now in 2016 oh, wow. and now in 2021. So, um, Time for a <laughs> so All right. Yeah, let's, absolutely. We, let's, let's go for it again next yeah, year. But, three P. Um, yeah. And then they're also the U S uh, best of, um, the U S open craft beer championships is a third largest competition in the U S and, uh, we took a gold in that for our um, for our pale Weizen box. So Love it. Uh, we were pretty fired up, and and uh, there was much rejoicing, as you can well imagine. Absolutely, and we need to rejoice because you know why I don't mind making the trip up to Cedar Springs. It'd be so much more convenient <laughs> if I could just hop into an Uber or Lyft here in Grand Rapids and come see you guys. You have a new location opening. Well, uh, yeah, this has been a long time happening. We actually announced this, I think, in November of nineteen. Um, but so much has happened in the meantime, and of, and of course that's been set back a little bit. But yeah, we're uh, you know one of my original targets when I was looking to do something was on the west side, which is the historical German side of town, and so we're opening the um, the Kusturer Brauhaus uh, there at uh, at Bridge and Stock Stockbridge, um, which is right there on the west side and. Uh, it's kind of a, an evolving uh, little entertainment district, if you will, down there. There's uh, four other uh, craft producers that are right in that neighborhood, and you know we're certainly uh, eager to, um, you know, to be to be part of that. Um, it's a little different concept than what we have here in Cedar Springs. Uh, um, this is, will always be kind of the mothership up here, but um, it'll have a little bit of the flavor and really be more of a classic uh, Bavarian style or German style beer hall. Hey, really Great. quick, really quickly, I know that your celebration, your festival, is coinciding with what you're wearing. Uh, that Red Flannel Festival is a big deal hey. in Cedar Springs. Uh, tell <laughs> us about that really quickly. It, it is, yeah. Red Flannel Festival is always the first Saturday in October, so October 1st and 2nd. And that's, that is an upward event, but we have a concurrent uh, festival celebration. So there's a great, big, there's a big old beer tent, live music, a bunch of food specials. We have a, 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 a cornhole tournament that uh, Saturday morning, which is kind of a, a big deal. And then right next door is actually the Red Flannel uh, Grand Lodge. And of course, they, they have events going on throughout the entire week and weekend. So uh, Cedar Springs has always written been really kind of known for that and uh, it's an awesome time if you have a chance to pop up here and uh, check it out all right well we could talk to you for a very long time unfortunately we are running out of time here at the fox 17 morning mix but we want to make sure that everybody knows that you guys do have some reduced hours and things like that as you work through all of this but cedar springs brewing company is located at 95 north main street right there in cedar springs you can check out the menu online at csbrew.com and you can follow them on social media as well make sure you get the brussels sprouts and the pretzel i'm just saying <laughs> that menu recommendations <laughs> that's the it brussels sprouts and the what yeah, the pretzel, yeah, the pretzel. Yeah, yep right, yeah, coming up on the 